Let's play some Minecraft story mode. One story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor. So huh? Huh? What? It's just a dumb question. Forget it. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us? Really? What? What, what kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. <gasps> But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Poopin's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Well, both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Did you hear that? I brought you good times, and now I'm being punished for you it. You scared us half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. As long as Reuben is happy, I'm happy. Happy? Well, zippity doo -dah. Okay, relax. It's fine. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. for a living? Huh? Yeah, my, uh, source, uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. 
We never win. And this year we've got Ruben with us. We basically have no chance. We're going to win. Because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. You have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun! After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than Creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a Creeper today. All right, let's build the Creeper. You're going with Axel's idea? What's wrong with my idea? Nothing. It could be totally cool. It is cool. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. Nope. Preparing is daring. Nope. That's the same thing. Forget it. Team on three. One, two, three. Team! <laughs> 